Little things. Vineyard Uprising. Hey guys, welcome back to Nerder Things, and it's a big day because City of Heroes is back. I can finally actually get on the server. So there's been a whole bunch of drama about City of Heroes, and they had the servers come up, and then they yanked the servers down, and now they're back up again. So I hope we can stay up. I played this game uh, before my children were alive, and I'd love to be able to run this game through with them. I uh, played this game a ton. Probably hundreds of hours. I forget my time played. I think it was something like 450 hours played. So, we're back. Yay! And I've been running through this. Uh, what I really want to do is get some uh, footage down. Because apparently they're getting 10,000 signups a day and I'm afraid they're going to crash their servers. So. But right here at the beginning, I'm picking a hero. I picked my name uh, that I used in the uh, DCUO online, which is Blur. And then I'm going through the archetypes. Tank, melee, range, crowd control, support, pets. Now I know they have uh, Brute as a tank. Do they? I think there's a little bit mixed. I think they've done something weird because I don't remember being able to play the villain archetypes <clears throat> on the hero side, but that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, conceptually, whenever I have blur, obviously it's a speedster, so I've been looking at the different power sets. Some of these were not in the game when I was here. I think I ended up leaving eventually because of the lack of endgame, but it, it will still be fun to take the kids through it. So I've picked uh, Electrical Melee. And I'll tell you what, even to this day, this is the best as far as customization. No, that's not true. Champions Island is better. When you look at other games now, other MMOs, and there's no customization at all, like World of Warcraft, I don't like that. I thought when City of Heroes came out, they set the bar for this. Champions race it, and now they've started to go backwards, I guess. Maybe because it's more work. So, let's get the V taper going. We're going to maximize your shoulders, make the waist real thin, give them some muscles. There you go. Uh, this is the costume that I have picked so far. I can remember playing this game and spending 24 hours creating a character. There's so much, so much you can do with it. So we're going to get up and running and then come back.
Oh, well, that's right, you can change your facial dimensions also. That's right, in this one you used to get all sorts of stuff if you don't get in DCO, like rocket boots. I guess they're giving auras from the beginning. I can remember having to earn my aura. Oh, I am so pumped. Wow, that wasn't in the game when I was here. I'm so pumped. I, I wish DCO would have taken any of these ideas and kind of improved on them instead of going backwards. Side poor car is blank, I guess. Fair dust. Feathers. And I forgot that actually you could change the animations in this one. And also the coloring of your animations. Oh, they didn't change, huh? So yeah, this is one of the only games where you can actually change your animations and the colors of them. For some reason, I have big regeneration as my secondary. Sorry guys, I have not played this game in such a long time. <laughs> oh, 
know what, I think I'm going to go full electricity. That's right. You get battle cries in this game in a character description, unlike in DCO. I wonder if the people in DCO ever actually played the game. Server is busy. Oh, the server is busy, really? I think I've gotten as far as character creation, but I think the server is slammed. Oh, that's going to be a short video. But at least you got to see the levels of customization. And I'm going to try to get into the server. God, I hope they can get this up and running. I know it's been up and running, but I don't believe the one server. I don't believe, you know, the people putting together a server. How do I say it? Diplomatically, they need probably need more resources to be able to run this many people. I hope they can get together. So thanks for joining us at Nerder Things. Hopefully we can get you some in-game play videos. And like I said, I would love to document me taking the kids through this game. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.